morning. I'm just half off on a little walk this morning. I haven't been up that long and it's quite mild today actually. But this area is uh, one of the places I sometimes stay. Which when I go over the bridge and back up, you'll be able to see where I park up. It's also got a, uh, a nature reserve near it, which has got like small, small little, I don't know whether to call them lakes, because they're not as big as something like that, but uh, it's quite a long walk around it, ideal for biking and jogging or just a nice walk. Nice year in the summer. It's a bit about this marina, don't have uh, facilities uh, you can use. as a shower block and toilets, but it's for the people obviously what stay on the uh, marina. I mean, I've got a key for the canal network, but this block is. Uh, this is for private use only for people who obviously pay for what I've been told to pay five grand a year which to be honest to me they're all packed in like sardines which really don't appeal to me to be honest if I was if I had a boat get a better view of this from a bridge if I had a boat I'd rather be like this are you moving along? Oh, just over there, you might be able to see my van on the other side. That's where we parked up last night. Around here, there's uh, also the uh, marina car park, uh, which yeah, has some spots what it says for boat use only, but uh, it's also spots where it looks like you know anybody can use. And I parked there, and I've never had a problem. I've even had one guy who lives on a boat here and that lot uh, who's got talking to me says he likes the fact that somebody's like watching his and listening out uh, on his vehicle so and he, also, he also says if I ever need anything you know water or anything just to uh, ask him which I haven't done yet to be honest because there's even a tap down there which I could use for water Better view of my van over there, on the right hand side. Yeah, we look from here now. I just, uh, like I say, we're just too close to each other. I mean, if you turn over in bed and that one next door, I'll probably hear you. There's some of them are bigger, like that one over there. The thing about these boats, they're half cost a bloody fortune. When I was younger and that, for what they were, uh, what they charge now, you could buy an house with. But yeah, I'd like one, but not to stay here. Not at five grand a year anyway. I'm sure it's summer. It's a half mile to there for September. That boat over there makes me laugh. It's it's kind of a bit of a rust bucket. It's got radiators over the windows, which they don't work. It's just fitted there. Oh, quick, go down here. This is one of the places here you can pack. And further down there, which I'm not going to walk down there because I'm going to go back to the van.
this is this place is uh, just some edge of just some edge of <coughs> which in a bad place to commute into the city centre uh, like all cities and that lot they're all jam packed to traffic but it don't take you too long from here if, you, if this were any other part of city and that lot it would just be such a pain in the ass to be able to get in, into Leeds but yeah there's there's the old van. You get the odd of a couple of us who come here. Not many. Sometimes I've uh, brought my bike, uh, I want to say sometimes, only a couple of times actually, and cycled down the canal, which is the taxi into the centre. And if you go over where you're going to uh, Castleford. And onwards. Uh, there's another potential spot. Of, uh, well, not potential, I've, I've stayed there. That's disused over there. I don't know what it used to be, but it's kind of like got a lot of water uh, in ground. You can go over that way and you can get to Nature Reserve that way as well. Which, actually, I might walk down and give you a view of it. That was said this year, was just not going off over there. Yeah, this place here. Yeah. I'm curious to uh, know where it was, but I don't know what they've uh, dug out or whatever were there, but it's all f full of water. I think actually this year's place is like this. You could get access route gates and that. Just hide yourself in a corner. To be honest, uh, I wouldn't mind having a, a patch of land or something like that I could stay on. Save on fuel driving around all the time. So if you're a farmer watching, uh, if someone would just a load of land and you wouldn't mind staying on it, getting touched by them, means. If I went all the way down there, it would actually take me to the uh, the river, what I just showed you. They're doing over there and building a probably storage box. Uh, didn't used to be there. You can get a lot of bird watchers around here. When I say birds, you know, the type with wings, not the other type. Then again, sometimes you see some people driving down and then back up on the night time and you think it seems a bit strange but I suppose it's the same with any quiet place really yeah, I don't know if I can show you the 
Yeah, it's reserved from here because it's actually over that way. If we get a better view down there. Over there's a, a big wooded area you can go for a walk through. So you climb up them steps there, might be able to see the area over to my right. Some work in today. The thing about going on order is when you come back because you've been away and you're not taking calls, you're not getting a lot when you, for when you come back. Hmm, you can't really see, but I mean, right over the distance, it stretches right over there, and you go all the way around over that way and kind of like back on yourself. Uh, it's, Probably easy three mile all the way around. Really nice over there during the summer. Yeah, no, not really. We're thinking from up here, might be able to see. But anyway, you've got more of these mini mini lakes, and they're kind of like dotted around. And you've got all sorts of uh, bird wildlife there, really. Right. Anyway, I'm going to go. Uh, have a walk back to the van now. Put kettle on. Have a brew, and then head into Leeds a bit later. So I'll catch you later. Bye bye.